Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be learning how to crank flip. So, to do a crank flip, you either need to bunny hop or do a jump. And while in the air, flip the cranks all the way around, catch them with your feet, and land. And that is what it's meant to look like. So, let's get started. I started off by remaining seated and practicing the motion. The back foot starts it by rotating the cranks around enough for the front foot to flip them around. After that, I tried jumping up and flipping the cranks and landing on them. It took a try or two, but I got it. I continued to do a few more of those to gain confidence and to get better at catching the pedals which is one of the hardest parts about this trick. I started to try to do them in a hop, but getting the right timing of when to do the crank flip in the bunny hop was a bit of a challenge. However, after a few tries, I was getting better. And then I landed my first one. It wasn't the smoothest, but I was happy yes. about it. After that, I landed another one. And so, I thought I had it. But then my foot slipped off the pedal and that just messed with my confidence and I failed a bunch of times after that. Which goes to show just how much this trick is based on confidence. To fully commit and do what you've practiced is pretty much all it takes to be able to do a crank flip. They are super fun and they're one of the coolest tricks you can do when riding the streets. So, there it is, a crank flip. This is one of my favourite tricks that I've learned so far, and it's so awesome that I can now do this whenever I want while I'm out riding. If you are considering to learn this awesome trick, then I highly recommend that you use shin guards, whether they be mountain bike specific or any sports ones, because the chance of your shins getting smashed by the pedals is really high. Finally, here are some tips that I came up with that might be helpful. 1. Learn the motion really well. 2. Wear shin guards. 3. Position the pedals towards your toes. 4. Gain confidence. And 5. Fully commit else it probably will fail. So, I hope you have good luck in learning this trick and find it as enjoyable and awesome as I did. And please, feel free to subscribe so you won't miss the next episode of Crank by Crank.